In this Winning the SketchUp video, I'm going to show a quick little trick for enhancing the look of pool water when rendering out of SketchUp. And to do this, we're going to use the Soap Skin and Bubble plugin and the Erode plugin from Enerov. So you can look those up and make sure you have those plugins to follow along. I just have here a very generic rectangular pool that just consists of the shelled volume here um, for the walls of the pool and the coping of the pool and then I have the water volume here and I just created a very generic material that's just a plain white material um, you could add a little color to that if you wanted and if you wanted to give your pool water a little color I'll generally make my pool water clear and then have it pick up the color from the interior of the pool so let's just go ahead and do a test render here and the water is set up um, as far as the render engine just with a thin glass material on it so any kind of um, glass or water material would work for this and also it doesn't have to be um, a rectangular pool this method would work with any shaped pool at all um, and also would work with any render engine so I'm going to be using Thea render here for the example um, but like I said it would work with V-Ray or Maxwell or sh Shader Light um, or even exporting out of SketchUp so let's just go ahead and render this I have a um, HDRI set up here um, for the background and for the lighting so you can see what's happening is the water's picking up the cloud reflections um, we can also see the interior of the pool getting a little bit of um, refractive quality there. Um, this is set to a thin glass and if I set this to a thick glass here um, we'd get a little more of that refractiveness here and that bend. Um, thin glass doesn't have any refractive quality to it so um, but it's going to work a little better for the example so I'm just going to set this here to thin glass and we could also put the um, just get in here and put the water material, the swimming pool water material um, as well. And it's very similar to the thin glass material. So we can see that there. And any one of those would work for the example here. So you can see what that looks like. Um, it's very flat now. So generally water will have a little more turbulence to it a little more bumpiness or waviness um, or noise if you will so in order to create that instead of manipulating the shader itself we're going to get in here and do this with geometry so I'm going to stop the render and I'm going to get into the water volume here and I'm just going to grab the top and just have the top center and edges selected and now I'm going to run soap skin and bubble I'm just going to leave this at the default because I want these divisions to be pretty wide because we're going to subdivide them again with erode. So I'm just going to go ahead and accept that by hitting enter again. Let that run through and that should already be processed. And we have our surface here. I want to make sure I have this facing the right way. And we can texture this now. Throw our pool water on here. And what we're going to do is use the plugin erode at this point and this is from Enneroth so we can look that up as well and you see what this looks like here with the default iterations set and the default pointiness set and it's quite um, a lot of noise here so we got a lot of waviness or turbulence here and we could get in here if we had maybe an artisan or something um, we could run the smooth option here to help smooth some of this out and keep doing that until we get to the level we want or if we don't have that we can come back here and let's run a road again and just change some of these values so we can go down to 0.01 um, you can take this up to 3 it's going to take a little longer to process um, the, the highs and the lows of our waviness is going to be less and the pointiness will affect that so this is really just a noise plugin um, just kind of does it mathematically instead of by map if we were doing it with the shader itself we would put a noise map in here but we're going to do it here um, or with the displacement maybe we would use some kind of a noise map 
but generally um, using displacement takes a little bit longer during render time whereas if we use geometry um, it'll render a little bit faster so I'll let this go ahead and process and we could um, this is going through because we have the iteration set up it's dividing this three times so we could have lowered the divisions on the first time using the soap skin and bubble um, or we could have increased the divisions and lowered the iterations so it's just the smaller these divisions initially are um, the more divisions that the iterations are going to have to calculate so that's done processing there and looks good that's our pool water so let's just make sure it's facing the right way here turn on monochrome mode and we can see that looks pretty good and let's get back here close everything and now let's do another test render here and see what this looks like and we can see that we've created the noise to our pool water um, and depending on what material you're using here um, the fall off is going to be set here the reflections are higher as the angle changes here but um, you can see that looks a little more realistic might want to have lowered our pointiness a little bit it's still a little bit too strong but overall that would definitely help the look of our pool water and as I mentioned before we could also get in here with artisan and Um, oh, I see we have the, I think we still have the top in there, so we can delete that, and then we just have our soap skin there, and we could get in here with Artisan if we wanted to um, smooth this with the sculpting brush here, and reduce the size there. smooth some of this out as well and let's just go all the way back here turn off hidden geometry back all the way out and just look at this one more time and I think that looks pretty good so I hope that was helpful. Um, just a way to do 3D displacement for pool water using Soapskin and Bubble and the Erode plugin. See you in the next video.